What does it take to actually build an online business? Don't try to be the best. Be the first. So what does it take to develop or create a lifestyle like that? And is it something that you could actually do on your end? You've probably seen the kids online, you know, driving the Lamborghinis, on social media, taking vacations around the world, all of that good stuff. And I need to ask you, have you ever wondered, what does it take to actually build an online business? What does it take to develop or create a lifestyle like that? And is it something that you could actually do on your end? There's a brand new opportunity and it's emerging in the marketplace and more and more people are seeing the power in building their personal brands. We're moving into a future economy where your digital brand will determine how much you get paid, whether you run a business or not, it's going to determine your likelihood of success. Why though? Because where there is attention, that's where money flows and where money flows, that's where people want to be. So here's what it is. Right now, it's easier than ever to create cash flow from social media. And by the end of this video, I'm going to share with you the only reason you would fail and the mistakes that could cost you years and years and hundreds of thousands of dollars. And I know that because it cost me years and years and hundreds of thousands of dollars. Seriously, whether you decide to sell something on social media or not, you are participating in this system. The question is, will you be a consumer or will you be a creator? Even if you sell nothing, you're still selling something. You're selling your self image. So why not get paid for it? And why not? build something that you're actually proud of. You're probably thinking another guy on YouTube promising me that he's going to help me make millions of dollars. And that's not the case here. I have nothing to sell you. I'm not promising you that. I'm just going to share with you things that have worked. I'm going to share with you what I've learned after working with, you know, some very, very large personal brands, people like Patrick and David, Conor McGregor, Grant Cardone, and whether you love or hate them, they have huge followings and they make tons of money from social media. And some of you don't care about that. You want to know, hey, did this guy actually go to an Ivy League school? Did he get an education? And I did. I went to an Ivy League school. I built one of the fastest growing companies in America, Inc. 500 award, and it was by using social media. So in this video, like I said, I have nothing to sell you. I hope you get some value. And you're probably thinking now, okay, cool, this sounds interesting, but to make money from social media, I have to be able to do that. And I don't believe I can do that. I don't believe I'm good enough. I don't believe that I look good enough. I don't believe I'm smart enough. Maybe you feel like you're overweight. Whatever it is you believe is wrong with you, I promise you there are people in the exact same situation. And even worse, using social media, media printing cash. The difference is, is they made a decision and they decided to go from being consumers to creators, but you have to reprogram yourself because you've been told by you know the school system, your parents, the people around you, the doubters, the haters, that you're only good enough to just get a normal job and you should just go down the safe right. And I'm going to tell you this right now, the haters, the downers, they don't have to know about you doing this. You can make it work and then tell them after. Most people have somebody in their ears telling them they can't do something. They're not good enough. They'll never make it. And if you hear that long enough, you will eventually believe it. So the most important thing for you right now is to know that there is an unfair advantage you could have in the marketplace by using the newest AI tools, but this gap will not last forever. Seriously, for those of you with half a brain and you wanna take advantage of this unfair advantage, especially if you learn to use AI and social media, you can literally run laps around people, the people that will do the bare minimum. So here's what you have to do. Number one, start making a list of things you're interested in, things you're passionate about, right? Could be health, could be wealth, could be relationships, whatever it is, just make a list and then you're gonna move to step number two. You're gonna search for 25 to 30 social media accounts that are doing well. Look for social media accounts that have smaller followings, and large engagement. The reason why is because that's where attention is. That's where our demand is. Step number three, you're gonna make a list of the content you feel like you could actually replicate. So look to go ahead and actually find those videos that don't seem too complicated. And even if you give it a go, it doesn't have to be exactly like it. You just wanna model it, all right? And there is another way to go about this. You could use the different tools online. Just go to Google type in a TikTok downloader, or Instagram downloader. I'm not gonna give you a specific one because they're always changing, but you can actually download this content, scrape other people's content and even use that to move on to step number four, which is where you can actually start posting. Now you could post from your page, a, a fresh page, doesn't really matter. The important part is you make a target, you make a goal and you say, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and post 
30 videos this month and then you stick to it. And that leads you to step number five, which is where you actually analyze what worked and you double down on it, okay? This exact strategy I used to help someone go from zero to two million followers in under two years. It was a it was a girl I dated and she was really smart, you know, good looking, had good morals. She was uh, in school, she was working minimum wage and I asked her, if you could do anything in the world, what would you do? She said, I wanna be famous. I would wanna be famous, social media. I said, good, let's do it. We put together a plan and in the next two years, she had over 2 million followers. Now, with that being said, I'm sharing this with you so that you know, like this stuff works, you just have to do it. This leads you to the last step, which is six, which is actually converting the following and monetizing it. So what do you do here? Well, you can go on Google and actually Google affiliate offers in the industry that you're making content for. You could also go ahead and actually have that content and show it to businesses or companies that are in that space and say, hey, I'll help you with your social media, do a test run and you guys can pay me when it works and you get two, three businesses doing that, they pay you a few hundred to a few thousand bucks each. Now you actually have a real side hustle, you have a real business and the best part is, is you're learning valuable skill sets in the process. And then down the road, if you want, you can actually develop a brand. And you have to ask yourself, what do you really have to lose besides learning something new? One of my clients posted over 345 videos and it took that many videos until he finally had one video to get 10,000 views. Fast forward another two years, he's now making over 100,000 net a month. But the problem is most people will give up before they even get started.